All right, good morning again. Today we're gonna to cover our science lesson, Rocks Are Changed by Wind and Water. Make sure you pay close attention to the lesson and then do your very best. Changes are taking place every day on the earth. Rocks and soil are carried from one place to another by running water. Rocks are banged together and changed from big rocks to little ones. Heat and cold work together to split rocks open. Ocean waves beat against huge rocky cliffs. Little by little, the high banks beside the ocean break away. The rocks fall into the ocean and are worn smooth by the waves. In some places, plants send their roots deep into cracks and rocks. The rocks, I'm sorry, the roots break the big rocks into smaller rocks. That's important and I believe you will see that on your test. You need to know that plants have the ability to break apart rocks. It is wild, but have you ever seen a blade of grass coming up through concrete? Grass is amazing. All right, let's watch this video. Teresa, what are you doing? Mom told me that rocks change, so I'm waiting to see if this one will grow. But rocks don't grow. But she said... Well, I know what she said, and she's, and she's partially right. Rocks do change, but they don't grow. If anything, they get smaller. Well, if you can't grow a big rock, where do they come from? Well, the big rocks you see come from the earth itself. The smaller the rock is, the further it is from its source. So this little rock came a long way? Yeah, exactly. And the sand you see at the ocean beach is, has traveled even further. How does traveling far make a rock smaller? Well, several ways. It gets tossed by the wind and dragged along the ground and the water beats on it. There's lots of ways that it gets eroded. So this makes sense, but I really can't see it happening. Well, you don't really ex exactly see it happening. It's a very slow, gradual change, like, like growth. So now I know one thing for sure. As long as I stare at this rock, I'll never see it grow. That's right. All right. The first way that we're going to learn that rocks are changed is by water. A week later, the Look It Up Club got together to see a film called How Rocks Are Changed. After watching the film, the club members were ready to talk about what they had seen. I think we should be very, very thankful to God for giving us water, Mary said. It keeps us alive. It helps plants make food for us to eat. It helps keep animals alive. Without animals, we would have no meat to eat. That's right, Mary, Father said. While heat and pressure help to form rocks, water helps to change them. You need to remember this right here. Heat and pressure help to form rocks and water helps change them. When you saw the sign, danger, falling rocks beside the road. Did you wonder what caused the rocks to fall from the side of the mountain? Look over here at this picture. See the sign? What causes rocks to just suddenly fall down the side of the mountain? Well, Jack has an idea. I think a heavy rainstorm made the side of the hill slide into the road, Jack answered. The water from the heavy rain made the dirt soft. Then it began to slide downhill. The rocks came with the dirt and rolled into the road. That is exactly right, Father replied. After a heavy rainstorm, you have all seen little streams of water running in different directions in the soil or sand. You can often see that even in your own backyard. Right here, these little streams are slowly changing the surface of the earth. The little streams slow into bigger ones. The bigger ones slow into rivers, which get bigger and bigger before they run into the ocean, like the mighty Mississippi. The little streams carry small, light pieces of sand and soil down with them, don't they? Mary wanted to know. Yes, her father replied. And as the stream gets bigger, it carries larger pebbles and larger rocks. Then that is why we found rocks in the sand. When we visited Mr. Scott's ranch, Deb Debbie added, I wondered why such big stones were so far down the mountain. We used some of the big rocks to get across the stream. Yes, 
And if you go back there in a month or two, you'll see that some of the stones will be in a different place. They'll be pushed farther down the stream by the water, Father answered. All right, now we're going to learn about the second force. Another force that changes rock is wind, Father said. The sandstone rocks you saw in the film were worn away by wind. Monument Valley, Arizona is a good example of what wind can do to mountains. The wind blows sand against the mountains. The wind and sand wear away the bare sandstone rocks and carves beautiful shapes. Some of our most beautiful parks have interesting stone shapes carved by the wind. Look at the picture. Do you see? Do you realize that this was created by blowing sand? The sand really is rock. And when it hits the sandstone right here, it carves into it and makes beautiful shapes. Very interesting. All right, do your best on your lesson. Let's see if I can stop recording.